Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for December 2nd. So, uh, what's the date? December 2nd, is that like, that's a Sunday, right? I don't have my calendar changed, and today's Saturday, so it's a Sunday. So, December 2nd, but remember, the timing is fluid for these. Usually they play out during the week ahead for me. Sometimes they don't resonate right on the day. You know, it's three days or seven days or, you know, I, I something will happen in my life and I will think, cheese and crow, that was my daily vibe from a few days ago. So keep that in mind. I'm going to be doing the next segment next for the, uh, you know, each individual sign. So this is just an energy that I'm picking up on today. It's not for every single person, okay? It's for somebody, not everybody. This isn't a private reading. It doesn't have your name on it. So keep that in mind. December 2nd. Now, it looks like somebody um, is receiving some sort of blessing, right? Somebody is receiving a blessing. It's a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity that is a blessing. Imagine that. Absolutely. You know, there's, you know, this opportunity that hasn't come in, it's a blessing. Trust me. It would have ended in disaster. It would have been a disaster. It would have never been stable. It was a false connection. Consider it a blessing. You were wasting your time waiting for something to happen. You know, waiting, 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 waiting. It was never a solid, stable opportunity. It absolutely is a blessing. And you're going to receive something better. So keep that in mind. Whoever it was that you were waiting for was emotionally unavailable. Immature, you know, a page of... A page is immature, and this one in, in particular is reversed. Emotionally immature. Controlling, manipulative, narcissistic. I mean, hey. Consider it a blessing that this opportunity was lost or missed. Trust me. If somebody is starting to realize that that was a blessing, you got to look at what's mirroring each other. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that I have a better opportunity. Absolutely. There's no need for me to cry over this loss anymore. I've wasted enough time. Yeah, somebody was dealing with an individual who... <laughs> Very controlling and manipulative. His way or her way. Well, it looks like a him to me. I mean, this is a man. It is a man. You just ain't no fucking feminine. Excuse my language. The other ones I might say vice versa, but not for the empress and the emperor. The empress is a female and the emperor is a male. So we have a male here that he may be losing the opportunity because he's emotionally unavailable. Hey, if you can't open your heart, well... Works two ways, you know, works both ways. So we have a man here that cannot open his heart, period. And somebody with the Five of Cups reverse is realizing that this person's never going to open their heart. I have a better opportunity. I might as well take it. No longer going to cling to this past. Yeah, congratulations to those of you that are letting go because that's exactly what this is. 
I'm not going to hold my heart for somebody that's immature emotionally. Emotionally immature. They don't know how to love. They don't know how to love. So why should I not receive the love by holding on to the past, holding on to the memories? It was never a, it was never a solid foundation anyway. And this is absolutely a blessing. Ooh, somebody's made the decision. Somebody has made the decision to stop waiting around, to come out of isolation. I'm done. I'm not going to I'm not going to isolate myself. I don't want to grow old alone. And by waiting for this person who is cold and self-centered and egotistical and manipulative and controlling is not serving me, right? It's not. So somebody has come to the realization, right, that this is, you know, I have a better opportunity. So somebody is making a decision today to drop it. This is going, it's dropped, it's being dropped. I'm, this is a decision being made to drop it. Now, what's this card right here? This is wish fulfillment. This is hope. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of healing. So somebody has done a lot of healing, right? And going after what? what you truly desire. I mean, wishes. I mean, I keep on thinking it's the saying is like, a, I can't, re I, don't, I can't say it right. That's why I'm not saying it. it's like a wish is a dream a, or a dream is a wish a heart makes or oh, I'm not sure which way it goes, but I can't, I don't know. But anyway, um, wish fulfillment is coming, put it that way. Consider it a blessing that this opportunity is not coming or has dropped away okay absolutely consider it a blessing um this is like peace of mind as well it's like somebody has has finally made peace with what this really is peace with their past love it absolutely love it let's get some more cards hmm Queen of Wands, this would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be anybody at all that has refound that passion within them to take on a new adventure. It's like that fire has been relit. They've found refound their confidence and their worth, right? Going after that exciting new opportunity. She's got that ace of wands in her hands. I'm ready. Ready for my new partner. Yeah, somebody has made the decision that I'm beautiful. I'm, I'm attractive. I, I'm full of it. And I'm ready to go find the new partner. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Ready whenever you are. After they've held on, somebody has held on and invested in this dead end situation, you know, this false romance for so long, right? But she's looking at what she held on to. She is, but she's looking at it and she's got her head held high now. Her head is held up high. She's like, no. Holding on, holding on, has not allowed anybody else to take the key to her heart. This hangman... <laughs> won't stand up he won't face the de he won't face the pain he he just won't 
And she's been, whoever this person is, has been sacrificing themselves needlessly for a person that has no desire to change. So we have the other person that has decided to hold their head up high and move in a new direction. They're seeing it from a new perspective. You are seeing it from a new perspective. Accepting it. Accepting the truth. The truth is being... Ex Wake up. Somebody has woken up from their sleep. Accepting the truth. The real truth. And nothing but the truth. The truth is being accepted, finally. Absolutely. With the Seven of Cups reversed, it's like there's no more confusion. There's no more illusion. I accept the truth. This person is too egotistical and emotionally unavailable. I should not be hanging on to them. It's time for me to break free from holding on to this almost like uh, immature individual that has no stability, uh, you know, and get go after what I dream of. So somebody is receiving some sort of truth or this could even be receiving some sort of communication. Hold on. Oh, God. I'm not going to answer that. Sorry about that. I probably should, but I'm not going to. Oh, God. Apologize. Anyway, um, somebody is receiving some sort of message, okay? Whether this is a message from the divine or a message from another person or anything. Some kind of a wake-up call. So, a, a message. Somebody is receiving a message that it's time to move on. It is. It's time. I have better opportunities. I know that I have better opportunities. I don't want to grow old alone. I don't want to be alone. It's time for me to come off of this mountain and get back out there and go after my new partner. So is there a new partner coming in? The decision has been made today or yesterday or whatever, you know. It looks like the decision has been made and somebody has been reluctant to move on for quite some time. And be, not moving on has caused a lack of peace and harmony in their life. It's caused a lot of mental turmoil, six or, sixes or swords, and this is reversed. It's caused a lot of heartache. It's caused a lot of pain. It's caused a lot of um, disharmony in their life by holding on. And now the decision has absolutely been made to move on. The truth is out. The truth is accept. The truth is out. The truth is out. Whether th this person didn't communicate or not, the truth is out. That somebody was holding on to a lie, holding on to something that was unrealistic. And now it's time to love myself, nurture myself. And release, let go. Yeah, somebody is giving up on a situation that is no longer love in search for love. And it feels like I'm not going to be deceived. I'm not going to deceive myself. I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm done holding on. I'm done, done, done. No longer going to cling. I'm letting go to this lack in my life. So somebody has, this is the, this is the card of, uh, the decision has been made to accept the truth and release. I mean, what more can I say? Make sure that the, this zoomed in. Decision made to accept the truth and release. Because I love myself and I can't wear this mask forever. All it's bringing me is trouble. It's bringing me trouble holding on to this. It's time for me to hold my head up high.
and be proud of what I've accomplished and go down that new path towards my new exciting opportunity that is waiting for me. So absolutely consider a blessing. It looks like the decision has been made to stop playing games, to take that next step, to accept this change. Seriously. This has been too much. It's much. It's brought chaos into my life. And now I'm getting prepared for my new arrival. So somebody it is or has been getting prepared for their new arrival. And I have to tell you, it's in sight. It's in sight. What you truly wish for in your subconscious soul, which is true love, right, is in sight. But it's not the person from the past. I know the last couple readings were, was for a different group of people. And this is how the universe works. They'll, they'll go back and forth. They do it all the time, as you can see. This is for the group of people that have that I tried to get the second reading yesterday. Remember I said I got to do another reading, but it wasn't. It was for those people. This reading is for the people that are letting go, have let go, and they're pre getting prepared, have gotten prepared, and now their offer of love is coming. It's right here. It's like right here. And I knew it was here. I knew it was here before I even started this reading. For some reason, I knew it was here. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, so, yeah. Coming out of exhaustion, somebody has been mentally exhausted by holding on to the, to the dead end. And now it's like I'm ready to take that next step out of seclusion, out of isolation, and into my truth. So, yeah, it looks like somebody is receiving some sort of, whether it's a download or it's a message or whatever it is, some sort of message is coming through that I see it. I understand. I'm awake. I got it. It's time for me to move on to bigger and better things. Because where, whatever they were holding on to was emotionally unavailable. Same story. It was false romance. It was Prince Charming from Shrek. Charming, you know. Nobody wants him, but he does play a good part, doesn't he? That's who you were dealing with. Fake as you know what. So now somebody has come to the conclusion that that was all fake. It was all a lie. And now it's time for me. I'm moving on. I'm I'm so good. I am. She's like, good. Oh, God. Somebody didn't take action for quite some time. Therefore, they weren't bringing victory and success to their lives. And they were going down. It's like their power was being taken from them because they were allowing this other person to control them still by hanging on to them. They were still allowing themselves to be controlled by this charming individual who you know held them back for too long but it's like no i'm gonna take my power back now thank you very much oh that's why see when i picked up this deck i i i, I saw this card and that's how I'll come i knew and i didn't say it because i wanted to see if it was going to come up again and this was the card that i saw and i thought well that's for me <laughs> so anyway um this is a perfect match it's a perfect match that is on the horizon. So it's an absolute blessing that Charming left the picture, okay? It's an absolute blessing because Charming was fake. So fake. I mean, everybody could see that he was fake, but the status was... You know, people, you know, in society or even in, in that movie, you know, the status overrides, right? Luckily, we're in a new day and age where, you know, if you're fake, it's more acceptable to say, fuck you, you're fake. Anyhow, um, luckily, Fiona, she noticed it. <laughs> Just like you did. <laughs> and I did. Anyway, there's a new... Um, 
offer here with your perfect match. You are going to receive or come in contact with or be brought together with your perfect match because this opportunity didn't work out. And that's your wish. That's your blessing. That's your reward for making that right decision to not cling, to not hold on. And this is a six. Remember, six is the journey to balance and harmony. This, and when I was saying that they've caused a lot of disharmony, we had the six of swords reversed, the six of cups reversed. Holding on the pat, holding on to the past, was causing so much disharmony in someone's life, and so much um, disorg organization and chaos that you know it was just holding them back causing them mental exhaustion as well anyway somebody has come to the conclusion that no no that's false it was an illusion it was fake and now that they have made that decision here we go now now the blessing comes your wish comes so here's this perfect match brought to you from cupid Okay, and I knew this card was going to come out. I, sh I should have just left it out, but whatever. Um, this is somebody who is going to really mirror you. It's like you guys can see right into each other's soul. It's beautiful. This is a new connection. It's not who you think it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not the one from the past that was your reading yesterday, okay? Those of you that are clung to the past, go back to yesterday's reading. This is somebody new. This is not the one that manipulated you and lied to you and deceived you, no. This person is not fake, and this is a choice between two. It really is. It's between Charming and Shrek. <laughs> it truly is because this is not your usual type. This person doesn't look like your usual type. And that is the meaning of the card. No shit. This person is not your usual type, but... You know them. The comfort, the, com the amount of comfortableness that you have with this person will be uncanny. You can be yourself, they're your perfect match. You can be yourself, you don't have to be fake. Remember how Fiona had to be beautiful for, for charming? She had to be fake too? No, not with this person. You don't have to be fake with this person. You can be yourself. So for those of you that have made a decision be prepared for some sort of blessing, wish, fulfillment, dream come true. Remember I said a dream is a wish your heart makes? I think I said it right that time. Love. Love is here because you have made a decision that you're not going to cling to the past. So I think you could even receive communication from this person, I don't know, or run into them spontaneously. There's a ship right here. <laughs> it's coming. If this person is, is, is coming, this person is coming. They're right here, they're close. They're close to arriving at your destination. And it's because you've gotten prepared. It is. What you've been waiting for, true love, is coming because you got prepared. <laughs> I love it. I really do. We are going to get an oracle card because I think we should. What should we use? Let's use this one. So yeah, love is love is on the horizon for those of you that have released the past. That would be me. And that's why I wanted to do another reading yesterday. Because I was like, that reading is not for me. You know? But today, here we go. Ooh, this is perfect. 
get to know one each other get to know each other get to know each other learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow it's at the beginning this is at the beginning get to know each other so this is somebody getting to know somebody new and I believe that there's going to be a strong 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 attraction where you just feel so comfortable and at ease and it's just like where have you been all my life so be prepared for some sort of new partner for those of you that this resonates with and have let go of charming so this is what I have remember the timing is fluid this could happen now it could happen you know in six days could happen around that new moon you know I don't know but the timing is fluid and this is for those of you that have made the decision to release the manipulative, deceptive person who held you back for so long. If you have released Charming, this reading is for you. If you are ready. If you are that Queen of Wands. And remember I said, I'm ready. If you're ready. I said that way back. For that woman that has her head up, up high, she feels good, she's confident, she's smiling, she's beautiful, and she makes herself beautiful, you know, in her own way. For those women who are so confident with who they are and they're ready, here we go. Congratulations. Be prepared to meet this person unexpectedly. This is serendipity. Absolutely. I hope this reading is for you. Good luck.